Hello everyone, and welcome to another Roving Squid Let's Play with me, Howard. Now, this week we're gonna gonna do a quick one-off here. This is this game we should be able to get through the whole thing in just one episode here. It's 30 Flights of Loving. One thing I will warn you, if uh, if you haven't played this yet, you probably don't want to watch this playthrough because pretty much you're gonna see the whole game in this one episode. And it's a story-based game, so it'll kind of ruin it for you unless you plan on just watching and not buying. I would suggest you go and buy the game and play it before you watch this, but... This game, um, it's a, it's a, by Blindo Games, they've done a bunch of other stuff. They did a zomb Adam Zombie Smasher or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, they did Gravity Bone. They've done a bunch of really, really cool games, really artistic kind of indie games. Um, they're actually a really cool developer. I think this game in particular is up for a bunch of different awards this year, so. Um, anyways, the whole game, it's basically a first-person story game. Um, so... I guess there's a little tutorial there to show you how to walk, but we'll go ahead and um, get started here. So, just gonna look. I'm gonna do my best to look around at everything that I see. So, it's interesting. Will of Morality Department. Prohibition license. Interesting. So, apparently this is an alcohol-free zone. Apparently there's prohibition going on. Let's have some Maple Victory alcohol-free beverage here. I can drink as much of that as I want. So, yeah. One thing about this game that's pretty interesting is, you know, they don't really give you any leeway. They don't... I mean, any any tips or anything. You just kind of get thrown into it and have to figure things out yourself. I think... Ah, there we go. That's interesting. We found a secret door. Walk this way then. Oh. Oh. It's a giant shaft. It must be underground. The interest the art style in this game is really interesting, that's for sure. It's very boxy and pixelated. And then we crashed. <clears throat> Okay guys, we're back. We had a little crash there, so um, sorry about that. But one thing I did notice is we had to restart from the beginning, which I'm going to go ahead and do since it only took walking down the stairs and opening a door. But as I was walking down this time, I noticed this gun over here. So let's see if we can... Oh yeah, look at that. We can grab that gun. Perfect. So, let's try this again. Let's go through the secret door here. Go back here. And hopefully this time we can actually get in here without it exploding. There we go. Okay. Uh, so what I was saying is I really like the artwork style of this. It's very simplistic and very minimalist. Everything's very boxy, but it still looks really good. Uh, reminds me a lot of some of the other games like Gravity Bone. Bullets. Elephant piercing 10mm bullets. I'll take all those. I always use some elephant piercing bullets. You never know when you're going to run into an elephant you need to pierce. Let's talk to this guy. What the hell is all that? Uh, safe cracker, pop man, best man. Alright then. I don't think we'll need more guns, but I'm going to take one just in case. Midnight Hobo. This must be the illegal goose. Drink all that. Cup, sugar, whatever. Guess that's just for looking at. 
It's like, oh, we're at an air, got an airfield going, huh? Fast forward, kind of, yeah. Alright. Interesting. Oh, she has a sniper rifle. Or is that just sitting behind her? Um, it's just kind of sitting behind her. Oh, okay, I get it. Those are explaining what these people can do. Interesting. are kind of annoying. Death knockers. I guess that all we can really easily do here is get on the plane, huh? Oh, here they come. This seems like a bit of a tight squeeze. Oh, and there's the title screen. I like the 60s quiche style. going on. I don't understand. Oh, beds. Those don't look very comfortable. Um, hey there, buddy. Uh, apparently Anita went down. Here's some shotgun shells. Oh, is this her? That's her. Oh, she's, she lived. And now I have an orange. Look, now I'm eating the orange. Just goodbye. So much time is going by so quickly. I don't understand. Oh, some camera balloons. Oh, 
toy. Wow. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go this way, I guess. Yeah. Alright, I wanna go this way. What's in here? down the stairs then. Or up the stairs. We could go up the stairs. Let's go up the stairs. What the hell is wrong with that cat? Why is that cat so loud? Oh my god, look at all the cats! There's cats everywhere. Oh, there's a baby cat. Baby cat. Ah, something's hissing at me. I don't, I don't. I don't understand what the hell is going on. <laughs> going upstairs. Stop hissing at me, cats. No roof access. I don't believe it. It's probably roof access. There is. There is roof access. It lies. It's got a party going on up here. Ooh, people dancing. I think that's dancing. They kind of seem to be hovering between moves. Hey, baby. How you doing? No? Don't want to talk? Alright, then. Right, you guys. You guys want to talk? Oh, look at the food. They look like they have sushi or something. I want some sushi. Hey, let me have some. No? Mm -hmm. Uh... Can I dance with these people? No. no. Oh, oh, I can eat their sushi. Oh no, I'm gonna sit with them apparently. Uh, someone's gonna make a toast? The toast sounds like Charlie Brown. That's interesting. Uh, Oh, now everybody's dancing. Everybody's dancing. Oh, I'm apparently drinking a lot of booze. A lot of booze. Oh my god, look at all the empty bottles piling up. Everybody's floating off to space. Oh, someone's getting attacked by the cats. Oh, I think she's drunk. Yeah, everything's a bit hazy now. I think we're drunk. Oh. Uh, drunk. I think we're gonna go and get some. Hey, look at that. And then we uh, fell down at the shaft to the place that we started again. Oh, we're back here. Okay, I seem to be walking really slow like I'm hurt. I think... I, I think oh my god, we're back here. I don't know what's going on. I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, nice. I bet that felt good on the side of his face.
entirely sure I understand what just happened. But we shot a bunch of balloons, so that's good. I didn't... I'm sure those balloons are probably bad. I'm a little scared about the pink doorway. I'm a lot scared about the pink doorway and all the guys. Why are we in a weird pink world? I don't understand this at all. It's 11. Alrighty. Uh, there you go. I don't have a clue what just happened. But, uh... Yeah. I think, uh... I think that was a thing, I guess. I think. I don't, I don't really know be honest. Um, what the hell is that? Seventh entry in the Citizen Able series. Okay. Apparently this is now... Exciting. Get a little physics lesson while we're at it. Um, I guess we can walk through this whole museum before we cut the recording, because...